Hi Cancer, how are you? Welcome to Karma Light Readings. I'm Alexandra, also known as Karma. This is going to be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It is April 2022. However, as I always tell you guys, energy is fluid and it really just depends on where you are at on your spiritual healing journey and your relationship with God. That's what's going to help you determine how you resonate with this reading. So it may resonate in the past, currently, or you may start to see some of this manifest anywhere between now and the next three months as you continue on your awakening journey. Um, if you're new here, welcome. Please make sure you like, comment, share, and of course, subscribe. If at any given time we do resonate um, together, <laughs> hit the like button so we can have that exchange of energy. Uh, and with that being said, I'm going to get started with my blessing and prayer. If you're interested in a personal reading, there are links in the description box, sorry, below. They'll take you to my Etsy page where you can find um, reviews from previous clients. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Mother, Brother, God, Divine Holy Spirit of the Most High, thank you for allowing me to be a clear channel of receiving messages for cancer in regards to their current life situation, soul journey, and soul path. I ask that these messages provide clarity, guidance, healing, and understanding, as well as a higher knowledge and perception into what generational curses, karmic cycles, and soul lessons cancer is currently going through, about to go through, need to become aware of, learn from, feel from, and release. Lord, in all that you are and all that you do, in all that I am and all that I do, I live by your word and your word only. In Yeshua's name I pray. Amen. So I'm seeing... I'm just seeing a really big shift take place. I feel like you have been either physically or for some of you, it was just energetically going through each situation in your life and, and, and properly closing it out. So for some of you, this may have been in person where you may maybe went to go see people for the last time. Um, not that they knew it, but you did. Like there was some type of actual closing of cycles that you were consciously doing. You were aware, I'm closing this out, I'm not returning to that type of situation. I'm closing this out, I'm not returning to that type of behavior. I'm closing this out. So there was something um, that took place, I feel, that shifted you to realize I'm doing things big time different. Um, and that may require you leaving and walking away from things that have been a part of your life for a very long time. Um, but you're happy about this shift and this change. And some of you are also could be traveling somewhere or thinking of moving somewhere, or you just went on a trip because I'm seeing the eight of cups. Um, okay. So Psalms 22, 10. When I left the womb, you cradled me. Since the moment of birth, you've been my God. And then you have Psalms 145, 17. The Lord is righteous in all his ways and loving toward all he has made. So there's been um, deep reflection and healing here. Okay, so you have shifted how you deal with everything in your life, in your world, Cancer. Because I feel like you had a moment of deep recognition and gratitude for just how much he's carried you through in life. Like you went through all of your life stories and situations and hard times and you connected the dots and found the blessing in every experience. And so because of that, there's like this newfound, I want to say... Um, like a newfound dedication <clears throat> or connection with God <clears throat> in your life. You discovered something that, that drew you closer to him. This has been a great blessing for you because since that moment, there's been a shift in how you perceive life in this world and interactions. And you're now implementing that shift into your into your life. This was an awakening of some sort, and I feel like it may have shocked some people around you because you're you're needing to walk away from certain people that you didn't um, 
maybe you didn't think you were gonna walk away from or you closed out cycles that you didn't think you know needed to be closed recent past you have the nine of wands the death card scorpio energy so you may have that as your you know moon rising or venus um also could be in your partner's chart or somebody you're thinking of and then you have the king of swords okay this is the recent past <laughs> did you overanalyze your awakening and your ending of these cycles cancer yes you did um current energy you have the sun but you've been liberated the ten of cups you're feeling really really good about things and the lovers the sun the ten wow that's great so a lot of alignment here a lot of illumination here in the uh near future what's coming towards you of the page of swords the ace of swords and the three of cups bottom of the deck you have the world cycles going back closing out cycles where and here you are with the chariot so there may have been um again you guys definitely traveled you did some type of traveling you went somewhere there may have been conflict here with this five of wands there may have been conflict or competition but there's an energy of people being against each other and whether you went somewhere and this happened whatever this incident was it sparked a much larger incident in your mind where you realized this is repetitive. I no longer want this to be unfinished business. I'm going to finish the business because I'm not dealing with this type of behavior in my life. You're making a decision and I feel like you walked away from something and you're just, you're closing out. You're closing it out. You don't have time for it. My hand is itching very much cancer. So I don't know if some of you have money coming in. All right, so uh, recent past nine of wands, the death card and the king of swords. You did overanalyze a little bit. And the only reason why, sorry about that. The only reason why you overanalyzed was, again, your loyalty to people, how you care about people, how you love people. Um, you, it's like you just, you, I think that you were tired of conflict here. You've been through a lot. There was a lot of burdens, a lot of baggage that you were carrying with you. I feel like you were trying to get to the bottom of everything here with this King of Swords by injecting truth. You were trying to inject as much truth as you possibly could um, into any and every situation, any memory you wanted to see things from a new transformational standpoint you did not want to see things with the same glasses anymore because there came a point like i said where you started to recognize something is not changing i have to be the one to take action and, and so in the recent past there was an awakening here about the truth of why things are happening the way they're happening in your life okay current energy i feel like this is gonna and i feel like you've been in this energy since scorpio season like i feel like something shifted in november october november for you and that's when this whole like transitional um process started taking place right now i see this energy the current energy kind of playing through until leo season really picking up possibly in gemini season at the end of may here um, you have the sun, the ten of cups, and the lovers. Something has been illuminated to you. The truth has been shown to you in regards to how to create the type of love life you want, how to build the relationships you want, what you want out of love and life. I feel like more because you came into alignment with yourself. And then what's coming towards you in the future, you have the Page of Swords, the Ace of Swords, and the Three of Cups. Somebody I feel is going to, either you or somebody is gonna to wanna to talk to you. I just, you don't want to, cause this gives me the Two of Swords. So I feel like you just don't really wanna hear what they have to say. 
but spirit is with these two cards spirit is saying don't you don't have to say anything but just hear them out because there's something that you're unaware of and it's going to bring great truth and clarity to you in regards to a situation in regards to a situation yeah because then you have the three of cups so it's like something happy something celebratory from this truth will will set you free i also feel like tell me about this king of swords please in the recent past what came through with this king of swords the five of swords the ten of swords the hermit was on the bottom i'm gonna pull another one it's just like I was saying, transitioning and walking away from all things toxic. Anything that was toxic, anything that was a karmic cycle, anything that, you know, there there, there was an element here of, you, you saw the truth in a really toxic situation. And you, you, you wanted to, I keep seeing the word, hearing the word redeem. I guess redeem but not redeem yourself to other people. It was more like yourself to yourself, right? With God. Because there was a lot of toxicity around you and it felt like there was this, this negative energy that was kind of following you around here, okay? It's like you just couldn't get it off of you. But again, clarity came, came through, wisdom came through. I feel like for some of you, it was like a divine instant something just hit you in it you know maybe through meditation because i do feel again like this was an intentional shift this was something that you fought really hard to to see that's why you feel so liberated right now that's why you feel so at peace that's why you feel so fulfilled there's a lot of happiness here that's taking place Things are, are shifting in a positive direction because I feel like for some of you, some of you, you might not fully be in this sun, ten of cups and the lovers yet. You're still in this king of swords where you're ending a cycle and you're coming out. You do, but there is a lot of happiness around you and you see it and you feel it. For others of you, you are in it. I feel like you may uh, ha have to make a decision here in regards to love as well. I want to know more about the, the lovers here. What's coming with this lovers card for the current energy, please? Wow. Yeah, be careful that you don't block yourself. When you have the Knight of Cups, you have a message coming into you that you're not really, like there's a messenger. Possible fire sign doesn't have to be. Could be somebody coming back towards you or somebody that you already know or they're traveling towards you or there was a distance between the two of you. You haven't seen them in a while. They're coming back. They have their eye on you. This person recognizes that you have your guard up. But I feel like this person is really trying to, they're coming at all angles because then you have the two of cups. See, remember I said a message was coming through and you may not want to hear it. And then I, in that, look at this, here it is. You need to hear what this person has to say. There's something that this person is going to tell you that is going to set you free. Let's see if we can figure out what that that is. Tell me about this page of swords, please, and the ace of swords, Holy Spirit. What comes in? I feel like it's going to help with this liberation. It's going to help you see things more clearly because it, it ends up with you being in this energy of the three of cups, which is celebratory. Page of swords and ace of swords, please. The Wheel of Fortune. There were lessons involved here. Again, a lot of karmic lessons. Things are shifting in a more positive direction. See, there were lessons about loss. There were lessons about lack. 
There were lessons here. That's why you need to listen to what this person has to say. Judgment. It's going to change your perception on something. I see somebody coming forward wanting to reconcile and put in an effort on some type of commitment or a money matter, a partnership here, building something, okay? Wanting to put in the work, wanting to invest in something. That's why you need to hear, you know, there's a truth that, that you may not know. There's also some type of truth coming forward about somebody's family, um, but I feel like somebody's coming into some type of money as well. But there's a truth here about cycles and patterns in regards to commitment and family. And somebody comes back around and they, they've learned a great deal. They've learned a great lesson. So that's why I feel like this might play out through until Leo season for, for some of you. Because this person um, seems to be going through a great deal of a lot right now with the Wheel of Fortune and the um, Five of Pentacles. They're experiencing whatever you experienced. Make sense? So there's lessons to be learned and I feel like this person wants to come back and express something to you. It could even, you know, when people come back to reconcile, you don't have to take them back in your life, but there is something here that's going to set you free. That spirit is saying, you know, allow yourself to, to hear what this person has to say. They're under judgment right now for what they did or what was being experienced in the past here with the devil. Because there's a, a definite betrayal. Maybe somebody ghosted you. Yeah, this came out upside down, adjacent possibilities. So I don't even feel like this is for you. Spirit is making me feel like this is for the other person. They may have had a whole bunch of other opportunities or they may have thought they had a whole bunch of oppor other opportunities or better opportunities and they created a mess for themselves. They actually closed a lot of doors on themselves because of the, the messes that they've created in, in their life. And so things are now falling apart for them um, and not in a good, you know, not in an easy way. It's pretty shocking. Healer of the ages. Some of you may have been calling on Jesus lately. Um, but again, this talks about in the beginning when I said something awakened you to the fact that God has carried you through everything in your life. And so there's been a deep healing, a deep cleansing, a deep realization in you needing to walk away from anything that is not pure, that is not aligned with your highest good. There's a deep replenishing coming in for you. Holy Spirit, closing messages, please, for cancer in regards to this situation. Sacral chakra here. So second chakra. So you've moved up from the root. You've addressed the issue. You've recognized, you know, where triggers and things are coming from. Now it's about you feeling more in your power and being okay to to make the decisions that you make, not worried about, you know, hurting other people, but really finding the strength for you to walk away from things, to choose what is good for you and what isn't. Door to spirit. See, it's like I was saying, something shifted inside of you in your, I believe in your um, sacral chakra that allowed you to open the door to spirit to really see things. Oh wait, God is always with me. I'm going to call him into this situation. And once you opened that door, that's when things started shifting because then you realized what contracts you wanted to close out and how you wanted to bring in balance to your life. Spirit is saying now was a time of rest, of pause for you because you were trying to bring back life to your life here. Somebody is learning a great lesson. The tables have turned. The tables have turned. I feel like the karmic scales are being reset here. Appreciation. And then crown chakra. You see things so differently. You're no longer the same person, Cancer. Um, you went through so much to get to where you are at. You went through so, so much. Um, and throughout the entire process, 
you never lost sight of God or his truth. And I feel like the, the deeper you got into it, the deeper you called on him. The deeper you went through the pain, the deeper you, you know, told him to guide you. And then you listened. And then you started to see toxic situations from a different perception because you started to appreciate them. You started to learn the lesson and move forward into an aligned life of happiness, of joy. So keep that in mind. Somebody seems to be learning the same lessons as well that you learned. You don't have to take them back, but know that the scales are shifting. And for some of you, this person is going to want to come back and express truth. All right, Cancer, sending you much love.